Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining our January 21st, 2021 uh, COVID-19 update. Uh, myself, Andre Matus, the Travel Emergency Manager and Council Member of uh, Valencia, will be uh, relaying some information for you guys today. Uh, we thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to start off with some of the COVID-19 statistics. For the Tucson area and from all our sources here in Tucson, uh, the report date is January 19th, 2021. Confirmed positive cases is 1,545. Confirmed deaths is 30. And from the Pasquayaki uh, Tribal Health Services Division, testing completed between March 23rd, 2020 up until January 19th, 2021. A negative results was 9,048. Positive results was 662. And positive since the last reporting date is 25. Um, and recovered cases has been 746. From all sources up in the Guadalupe area, dated January 21st, 2021, Confirmed positive cases is 1,490. And from the Pascuayaki Health Services Division testing completed between May 11th, 2020 up to January 20th, 2021. They've had 319 positive results. Um, recovered cases uh, is unknown right now. Okay, Mr. Luzzi. Yes, Les Amchaniabu, buenas tardes. Uh, first of all, on behalf of Tribal Council, you know, I wanted to thank each and every one of you guys. Thank Chief Matos here and all of our staff for a great job so far on our plan and our, our services um, regarding to the COVID-19 and, and the vaccination rollout. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about that vaccination plan. Uh, if you guys could do us a favor and, and either look up us up on social media or on our text messages that if you have opted uh, to receive our text messages uh, we have sent out our COVID-19 vaccination plan uh, the plan uh, looks like this um, it uh, it talks about our phase one phase two and phase three implementation plans which is all highlighted here um, uh, as part of that plan, uh, we have decided to, to service our elders, you know, our, as they are most vulnerable uh, pop members of the population. And tomorrow, uh, we're going to ha be having our second uh, vaccine distribution to our elders. Uh, right now, um, we have it scheduled for tomorrow between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. And it's for the first 300 uh, members who are 65 years or older and who reside on or off the reservation um, and they're able to, to come to the Ava East parking lot, they will receive their, their vaccination. Um, right now, uh, we also have planning um, scheduled and underway to vaccinate our homebound elders and those are our elders that cannot, you know, uh, get a ride or, or, or join one of their family members to get vaccinated at at tomorrow's event, we will be reaching out to our staff. Will be reaching out to you, to those members to make sure that they're uh, they're visited at their home, and uh, we have that plan underway. And hopefully, uh, information will be coming pretty soon. Um, I know that after speaking with uh, our health department and after speaking with uh, our members at our senior center, our ombudsman's folks, and uh, Cecilia Valencia and several other folks will be uh, contacting those members that that need those homebound services. Um, I believe also our, our members of our health staff have also made contact with those folks and hopefully, you know, all we, if, if we miss anybody, uh, feel free to, to call us um, at the information provided and, and we could uh, visit those folks that cannot make it to the vaccination site. I also wanted to take this time to, to let the community know and encourage all of you guys to, to get the vaccine and get vaccinated. I know that uh, I was uh, blessed uh, to be part of our first round of distribution for our essential um, worker program uh, and that's part of our phase one. Um, other than, you know, 
the usual soreness in, in, in the arm that, you know, are no different than, than what I have experienced with the flu shot. Um, I, luckily, I, I did not experience any of any after effect symptoms, you know, um, I was, you know, no soreness for me. It was good to go the next day. I, I did opt to participate also in, in our V-Safe program. And if you do take the vaccine, I would recommend that you participate in that. Um, it, it's an application um, from, uh, I believe it's the CDC application, it right, is, that yes. we rolled out. Um, so they'll, they'll send you a, a message every day actually and check in. And there's a, a very simple series of questions that that you're asked to, 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 to respond to. Um, and, you know, they just check on you, how you did that day, if you have any symptoms, so on and so forth. Uh, so, so to me, it was, it was pretty comforting just to, to participate in that. And I believe at the end of the day, they have, at the end of the questionnaire, they have a, a, a section. If you, if you do have any symptoms and they ask you to report it, they will, you know, they will, um, through that VSA program, will also make sure that they follow up with you. Um, I believe it even says a, 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 with a phone call, or maybe a, a medical doctor will, will respond exactly. and, and, and see how you're doing mm -hmm. and keep communication with, with, our, with our health staff here. So I, I felt pretty comfortable with that. Um, as I mentioned, uh, we uh, were able to do 201 uh, vaccinations on, at our last event. Um, Unfortunately, we did, we did have one allergic reaction to, to the vaccination. However, it was a minor reaction. And um, after speaking to that individual, uh, we did uh, get, uh, you know, she did say that, that she would uh, take the vaccine again, um, her second dose of the vaccine. Um, you know, her, her approach was that, um, you know, the, the consequences of not taking the, the second uh, those of the vaccine are, could, could be far worse than, than contracting actual COVID, you know? So to her, it was, you know, her response was, I have children and, and vulnerable uh, uh, members at home. Um, so she felt that, that, you know, being prepared and, and I think that allergic reaction was nothing that wasn't um, resolved with the, you know, the, the, care, the care that we had on site. We did have an ambulance on site that, that uh, and, and our nurses addressed it very well. I think the situation was addressed. And um, uh, as a matter of fact, we do have an ambulance right, available yes, sure. that will be there right. in case it does happen. It is expected, you know, it, it is rare. Uh, like I said, out of the 201 cases, we only had that one individual. But like I said, uh, luckily, and, and she reported that it was very minor and, and nothing that you know, couldn't, uh, they didn't take care of with, it, with some follow-up medication. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Okay, folks, I'd also like to let you know that um, the Tribal Council has approved an extension to the, to the tribe's PY CARES Welfare Assistance Program. Um, so please, um, the information is still online through our COVID website. So if you, if you need assistance with whatever it may be um, because of the COVID impact upon you and your family and your home uh, and your finances, uh, you know, please don't hesitate to apply and, um, and get some relief and some assistance um, as soon as you can. Uh, we also have uh, COVID-19 testing available at the uh, Albert Garcia Auditorium Monday through Friday. 9 to 11 30 and then a lunch break uh, and then 1 to 4 30. Uh, visit our uh, COVID-19 paspoyaki-nsn.gov website to register um, and you know all the all the testing is now uh, by appointments so they get you in very smoothly and quickly and uh, there's not really a line uh, to get in and get tested so please uh, go get yourself tested or if you have family members that need to be tested please please uh, go to the, to the auditorium and get tested. Um, I'd also like to make another announcement about the Native Networks. Uh, has the last call for installation on the reservation. Uh, please call uh, for installation. Uh, phone number is 833-364-0593 and let them know you're still interested in the um, wireless in the, in the internet installation. Uh, another reminder is that um, to, to receive the messages and a lot of things that we talk about, um, you, can, you can text PYTRIBE to 
777. I'll say that one more time. PY Tribe to 888-777. And then you, you can receive all these different messages and messages from our community response team in reference to food distribution, um, isolation kits, um, just a lot of really good information is, is put out um, through that mass messaging system there. Um, I'd also like to, uh, you know, to let you know that, you know, behind the scenes, Tribal Council, our incident management team, um, folks behind the scene like Mr. Lopez and Mrs. Nunez that help put this together. Every week, everybody's working really hard to try to provide services uh, to combat this COVID pandemic. Um, you know, we're always working on uh, what's a better way uh, to service our community for testing. Um, what's the best way to to roll out the vaccines? And I know there's been a lot of questions about um, how soon can people get the vaccine? Well, a lot of it is 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 determined by how much vaccine we receive. So as soon as we receive it, we're going to start to distribute it more. But um, we're all dependent upon um, the federal government and IHS services. Uh, to give us that vaccine and if we get it in small allot allotments we can only distribute it in small allotments but once we get larger amounts to distribute then we'll, we'll start larger vaccination um, uh, clinics uh, for all members of our uh, community and, and just like Mr. Valencia said um, we'll be following this this uh, this path phase one phase two and phase three and underneath each one of these phases is listed uh, the, the different priority groups of folks that need it first. So uh, please be patient with us and be understanding and, and know that um, all of us are working uh, behind the scenes to do everything we can to, to help combat this pandemic. Um, and our hearts go out to all of those that have lost, that have lost folks and, and been affected by this pandemic. Uh, so please remember, wear your face mask, wash your hands and social distance and avoid large gatherings at all costs. And, uh, you know, together we can all beat this pandemic. So uh, thank you once again for joining us. Definitely, before we, we end, a um, very important uh, message that Chief Montes uh, sends here. And, and I do want to assure you that, you know, even as early as this morning, when you mentioned that, uh, you know, we're receiving the latest updates and information from the federal government. Um, I know it was day one of, of the new President's administration and, and, and we had our representative um, send us messages, send us information, important information uh, um, that hopefully we can, you know, have that second allotment of the of the vaccine. Obviously, you hear the news out there and you know there's some concerns that you know it was delayed or it wasn't even produced, but you know some of those rumors are, are, are not rumors it, it is true so we're waiting on that second vaccine but as soon as we get it um, we at the very least from this administration have has have received uh, positive messages and, and and updates that as soon as they do receive it they're gonna uh, let us know so that we can continue with our second and third phase um, very important like I said and, and I wanted to thank you on behalf of tribal council as well um, prayers go out to all of those loved ones who have, uh, we have lost and again uh, you know those words to me um, you know from the member that said you know I'd rather uh, you know take the consequences of, of, of the reaction to the vaccine to me that means a lot because having what is our number at right now it's over 114 15 some folks that have, have since passed most of them due to COVID, uh, unfortunately, and our prayers on, um, on behalf of Tribal Council and the tribe uh, go, out, go out to you guys, your families, uh, not only to those who have last, lost a loved one, but for those of you who are our are, are employees, our tribal members, and have had to deal with the effects of the illness, um, you know, our prayers are with you guys, and hopefully that, you know, I recommend that if, as soon as the vaccine comes up uh, uh, and you're able to take it, to take it, I know a lot of the questions that I get also is that, um, and, and and what we're we're saying is if you have access to the vaccine, whether it's through your employer or somewhere else outside, if you do not work for the tribe, um, don't wait for us to to, you know, for your time to come up through us. And exactly. if, if if you're able to get it through your employer, it's important that you do as soon as possible. You know, so I just wanted to to say that. I don't know if I'm, um, I believe we're giving the same. Same advice, right? To, yes, sir. to take it as soon as possible. So with that, on, on my behalf, thank you. On behalf of the Tribal Council. Thank you once again.